Good day, Internet. This is Cinebuntu from the Linux Means Facebook page, and today I'm going to show you how to change your cursor in Ubuntu. Now, there's two ways of doing this, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but hey, no OS is perfect. According to Linus Torvalds, all OSs suck, Linux just sucks less. So what we're going to do is open up the software center, and I preloaded this because the software center is notoriously slow, and first we're going to want to make sure we have the Unity Tweak tool installed. Alright, have that installed, or you can use the Gnome Tweak tool, but yeah, to each his own. Oop. Gnome Tweak. So you just hop that into the search, click install, no big deal. Next, you're going to go find the Oxygen Cursor theme, so just type in Oxygen Cursor. And hey, look, two are there. But if it's not showing up, you're wanna gonna go down here. Come on. Oh, you're gonna wanna go down here, and it's gonna say show 17 technical items. Click on that, and hey, look, there's the oxygen theme. And if you want more colors for the oxygen cursor theme, here we go, right there. And next, we are going to open up the Unity Tweak tool by hitting the super key and typing in Unity tweak tool or I have it locked to my launcher and you want to go to this cursors theme right here and now you're gonna pick the cursor theme you like and what you're gonna notice is uh, I'm gonna find the one I like oxy uh, which one is it oxy hot orange is the oxygen theme I like <laughs> so what you're gonna notice is I still have this awesome cursor I installed myself and so here's how you're gonna change that you're going to want to open up the terminal and copy paste in the following shortcut I will ha again have this in the show notes and I'll leave this one in the description as well so you're going to want to hit enter type in your pseudo password and you're going to notice there's a bunch of themes on the side. I have some manually installed cursors. And what you're going to want to do is find the cursor theme that you installed. So in my case, I'm going to look for Oxy Hot Orange. And we will notice that that is numero 35. So what we're going to do is punch in 35. Alright, and after this, if you're using Ubuntu, you're either going to restart your system or type in compiz dash dash replace and I don't want to do that because that'll probably wreck my screen recorder alright so that is the first method so the second method is we're going to close the terminal and now we are going to go to gnomelook.org because they have a lot of cool themes we go back this is their home page click on x11 mouse theme see now the oxygen cursor has been applied sort of yeah, it's a weird thing. So I want to use this Ultimate Edition of Cursor because I can. I'm going to click on that. Get a preview of it. Look at that. It's spinning. Oh my god. We are going to find the download link toward the bottom of the page. And it's going to pop up. Now we got this little folder. Now we're going to want to right click it and hit extract. And we are going to go to our home folder. And your home folder should like this by default. You're going to want to hit control H and type in dot icons. And as you can see, those are that is the cursors I've installed so far. And you're going to want to hit extract. And it could ask you to show the files, but screw that. Looks like I clicked that anyway. So now you're going to want to open up the tweak tool again. And you're going to notice oh, you're going to want to close the tweak tool and open it again so it refreshes all the cursors you have installed. And I'm going to try to find Ultimate Edition, or UE Orange as it was called. You're going to want to double click that. And again, you notice, oh my god, the cursor theme's not changed. But you can't go into the same shortcut we did, the um, apt get, or the sudo update alternatives wet method. You're going to have to um, do it another way, which is really stupid, but again, all operating systems suck, some just suck less than others. So you're going to want to type in the following shortcut into the terminal. And again, I will leave this 
in the description as well as have some show notes for you to download from my Dropbox. Alright, so GK sudo, this is just giving you root permissions to edit a file. And you can replace gedit with the editor of your choice. You're going to get this loading thing. Type in your root password. And you're going to notice you get this style file configuration. So what you're going to want to do now is open up your file manager. Hit control H once you get to your home folder to show all the hidden folders. And you're going to want to type dot icons. The cursor theme you've chosen the tweak tool. And you're going to notice a cursor theme and an index.theme. Click on the index.theme folder and it should show something like this. And what you're going to want to type in is copy paste the UEO orange in my case into the name. Actually, I'm going to be lazy and just copy paste this. Copy and paste and then paste again alright so now that you've done that you hit save and hit close everything should be hunky dory now and I will pause this recording and show you what it, everything will look like in the end As you can now see, I have this beautiful spinning ultimate edition cursor here. I'm going to edit this, post it on YouTube, paste it over to the Linux Means Facebook page. You should check us out at Dirty Penguin Gaming. I have a couple of Postal 2 videos up, and since my spring break's coming up, I might do some more gaming videos. I will definitely do more desktop tweaking videos in the future. Go check us out, and I will catch you guys later.